Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish. Welcome to our next charity sampler. Ten centuries shall the fortress stand, walls of spirit wrapped in walls of fire, and horned lords shall bow their heads to one not yet born of the darkest sire. One century of blood and strife, the moon shall darken and none know why. The resting place at last is found of the seventh who soared so high. Me trying to get my printer to work. Got any cake on this side? Last daughter of a forlorn line shall guide him into history. Beneath the crypts, prophecies clash. The war of ancient enemies. And there we go. Welcome to Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. So, if you missed our January 25th charity event where we were celebrating over a thousand subscribers on YouTube, we raised some money for the Video Game History Foundation, thanks to y'all's very generous donations. And one of those donation incentives was, of course, that for a $100 donation, you could select a game and I would play a sample of it for you. One episode to see what it's like and to see whether or not uh, folks enjoy it enough for us to maybe spin it off into a full long play series. So this one is for our patron Thousand Emu, who requested Dark Messiah. This is a game that has been in my periphery for a long time, since it came out. Um, and as a huge Might and Magic fan, I'm not sure why I've never played it, really. Especially back when it was new. So I'm excited to see what it's like. And I have to say, uh, of course, if you want to get this game for yourself, as always, there will be a link down in the YouTube description. But... Uh... I really cannot tell you everything that it took to get this game to run. I will just say that I wound up having to hex edit the executable file uh, and leave it mostly at that. <laughs> it, it really fights back very hard against running on modern machines in a lot of different ways. Uh, but we got it running, and after a little test run last night, it seems to be running fairly well so uh yeah i believe that it is also available on console uh it came out on the uh the xbox 360 i am playing the pc version but uh, if you have the console version i'm sure that that one is still playable and it may even be available through xbox live game pass uh or something similar Kind of how Legend of Dragoon uh, used to be available through PlayStation Network and then became available again not long ago. Uh, so uh, if that is the case, then I will put that link down in the description as well. Uh, but I'm excited. This takes place in Ashan, which is the world, uh, the new setting that was created for Heroes of Might and Magic 5. So I'm a big fan of Heroes 5. And I can't wait to see what they do with it. It looks very dark and edgy. Uh, coming off of Revenant just a couple weeks ago. Um, <laughs> this this seems very much in that vein. 
All right, let's jump straight into a new game. Ooh, choose combat difficulty level normal, hard, or hardcore. I'm gonna go with normal because I don't know exactly what this is gonna be. Finally, after years of practice and study, Master Fenric. Oh. Where are you? I'm here, Sarath. Now listen. In the room ahead, there's an altar with a spider artifact. Take it. We'll need it to get to the Shantiri crystal. My voice will guide you. And have no fear. I'll be watching over you. Okay. Well. And, uh, no, absolutely not, Duwa. Uh, I am a filthy casual. So, especially when it comes to games like this, like FPSs and these kind of, like, stealth games, sort of like Thief. Um, I'm very iffy about. Some of them I'm good at. Some of them I'm, I suck. <laughs> this one I'm probably gonna suck, and I apologize in advance because I've never played it. So let's check mouse sensitivity. Sorry if this gives anybody vertigo. We've got head bob. Uh, I don't know if I want that. Can we turn that off? Probably. I'll check options in a bit, but I want to play it as is first uh, and see if uh, the vanilla settings are kind of what I want. What is that reticle doing in the front? Is that like a stealth indicator? That might be where light sources are coming from. Hmm. Oh man, Gauntlet Seven Sorrows. Oh wow. That that's a nostalgia kick. So far so good. Okay. Use the spider key we found, Sarah. Press E to use. This seems fairly standard FPS material so far. Pull the lever, Sarah. Then hurry through the far gate. Pull the lever? Oh, on the left wall. Oh, okay. E again. Oh, and shift to sprint. Woo! Sprint until your stamina bar is empty. They must stop for a while to recover. Okay, fair enough. Pretty standard stuff. Hmm. Where are we, though? The Shantiri Crystal. These spider images, this looks like a necromancer crypt. Because they worship, like, the the spider sort of incarnation of uh, Asha. That they look weak. See if you can break them. Okay. Oh! Oh, hello! We have a body. Oh, this is one of those. We're, like, fully modeled. Hello, feet. I love in games like this when you can actually see your feet and hands. Okay, press F to kick. Oh. It looks like you'll have to go up here. Jump on that chain and climb. He's got a powerful forward kick there. Space, okay. And then jump off. Yes, okay. All right. And that's how we climb to Not like that. Okay, there we go. Hmm. I'm not mad about that, Chundova. Oh. We can set it down. Oh, okay. So we can do that, or we can throw it. Oh, well, we gotta throw it. Goodbye. Yeah, that's that's all right. I don't I don't mind seeing those seeing those feet if it's gonna be kicking a lot of stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I've heard that there's an enormous amount of kicking in this game. Famous for its kicking is Dark Messiah. Control. Okay. Use the spell I taught you, sir, and the dark will hold no secrets for you. This is very dark. I don't know if I should turn up my gamma. Okay, use mouse wheel. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so just highlight dark vision and press. Oh! Ooh! Oh, that is blue! That is... That's a blue jump scare is what that is. Wowzers. Okay. Uh, assume... Just need to go down here. Yeah, I've heard a lot of praise uh, for this game's combat. 
uh, perhaps because, like, in a lot of games, uh, combat is just one of many systems that is kind of, uh, you know, added into the game. You can open the chest. You never know what you might find. If you see a weapon, go ahead and pick it up. There will be fighting ahead. Will do, Master Fenrig. Uh, yeah, see, that's kind of what I was getting at, Chundo. Like, um, basically that a lot of the praise for this game seems to be that the combat system was designed first, and the rest of the game was kind of designed around it to accommodate that. So there's a lot of, uh, like, great environmental ways to deal with enemies and stuff like that. So, people are still singing its praises today. Okay, okay, so we select equipment the same way. The rope, Sam. Cut the rope. Cut the rope. Hiya! Whoa! Glad that didn't hit me. Hmm. Well, we'll say that there are fans of the combat. Uh, because Arcane Studios, those are the guys who made Arx Fatalis. Kick that creature back and watch it fall. Okay. <laughs> Careful. The undead are tenacious. Impel them to make sure they don't rise again. Impel them. Okay. Hold mouse one a second and then release. Oh! Ooh! I'll do my best to heal you, Sarah. Do your best? Okay. Now is the time to use your combat techniques oh. as I taught you. Okay, so press and hold and then release for a power attack. Do this four times. Oh, it's gonna be one of those tutorials. Oop. Do we have a block? Oh, we do. Okay, we've got like a parry. Oh, oh, wow, he dodged. Either that or I've got terrible aim, which is more likely, since I didn't hit him with that. Haha. -ha. Oh, okay. The adrenaline bar is filled. That's next to our health bar. Small yellow bar. Hold mouse one release after a few seconds to inflict a fatality. An instant kill. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Fatality. Give me a moment to open this door. It is not a flawless victory, though. Okay, so this is one of those where. Oh. Here, hired swords they are, but I can feel the scheming hand of the necromancers behind them. So they too are after the Shantiri crystal. Hmm. Necromancers confirmed. Um, that might be Warriors of Might and Magic, perhaps? Or Shifters of Might and Magic? Which was similar to Crusaders, but came later. Kick him over the edge. Okay. Carry his strikes. It's better to block than to bleed, yes. Oh, indeed. Break the plank. Use the environment to your advantage. Guards! Hit harder. Break through his parry. Ow. Oh, brutal. You won't make it. Oop. Kick him against the spot. Oh. Okay. Don't Kick him against the spikes indeed. Oh, we got Oh, that guy's got a bow and arrow. Uh, You're a dead man. where did he even go? Did he go up there? Hello? Oh, nope, I hear arrow. There he is. Can I block arrows? No. I'll do my best to heal. Block his blows, parry. Otherwise, it's going to be a long day. Oh! That will finish it. A corpse. Oh, arrows. Must get a bow before getting arrows. Oh, did he drop? Ooh. 
There we go. Okay. Now we got a bow and arrow. Cool. Nice. Do everything. I like the detail here. Like, the textures have not aged well. But in terms of level design and stuff, like, I like what they've done with this place. And I feel like you can tell it was definitely inspired by a lot of the same influences uh, that made Heroes 5 look like how it does. Why is the door not open? Do I need to do something else? Hello? Oh, can I? Oh, sort of, maybe. Oh, I can take that other short sword, too. I think that's what I already have, though. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Can I dual wield? No. Okay. But they do stack. That's weird. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I thought the two is a quantity. That's like the hotkey. Okay. Hello. There's another guard somewhere? I heard... somebody. I'm assuming maybe that's what it is. I'm, there's one target left. Where are they, though? I don't see them. Hello? This guy's dead. He's labeled as a corpse. This fellow's dead. These are like literal monster closets. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go here. Okay. Uh. No. Oh. Okay. Oh, I already did that. Use more time to hone your okay. skills if you wish. I'll keep the port colors open. Oh. Oh. I missed with my kick. There we go. No, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> okay, I think I see what happened. I actually preempted the tutorial. So this is one of those where like you can't leave until you do what the tutorial says. So if it says you have to do four power attacks, you must do four power attacks before you can go on. And so it wanted me to kick that guy on the spikes, and I had already done one. All right. Oh! Hello! Let's see, I've earned my first skill point. Press tab to upgrade. Crates with a dragon insignia contain supplies. Break them for potions and food. Oh, okay. Let's look at these skills first. Oh, there's a skill system. Okay. Skill icons that are blinking can be upgraded. Mouse over any of them to read a description. Double click to upgrade a skill. You can also click on the, one of the other tabs to access the other skill panel. Okay, this is our inventory, I see. Okay, so tab is just the whole character screen. The spider key. So what do we got here? So we have combat skills, magic skills, and miscellaneous skills. Interesting. And here are our stats. So 50 health, 20 mana, 2 damage. Depends on your strength and the weapon you're equipped with. Armor class. How much damage your armor will absorb. Okay, so yeah. In a game like this, it wouldn't be versus accuracy. It would be damage reduction. Looks like we have a body armor slot, a weapon slot, a shield slot, and a ring slot. Swords are the perfect companion for warriors. Sure, they're not as subtle as the staff or the daggers, but they are equally reliable and lethal in each and every situation you may face on the battleground. I like how daggers is plural, like the assumption is that you will dual wield them. Alright, let's see what we got here. Melee combat. 
upgrade gives me Flurry of Blows, allows you to deliver an unlimited number of fast strikes in a flurry. Charge, a powerful attack to stun your enemies. Use Sprint and Power Strike. Okay. And then we can get Disarm. Shield. You can now use a shield to block enemy attacks like arrows and flame arrows. Okay, so presumably you can use a shield before that if you find one. They just... it doesn't block projectiles. I'm, I'm guessing, if you don't have that ability. And at level 3, Break Parry. So Flurry of Blows sometimes breaks enemy parries. Leaping Attack. Jump and Power Strike. Knocks enemies off balance. Whirlwind Attack. Crouch. Adrenaline and Power Strike. AoE, okay. Archery allows you to zoom in when using the bow. Rank 2 gives you a steadier grip, making shots more accurate. Rank 3 lets you reload more quickly. Okay, so these up here are the ranks. And it looks like, like, I'd say we have to have one rank in this to unlock these. Like, these are paths that show what's necessary to open them up. Strength. All attacks with a weapon do increased damage. Critical hit. Okay, percentile chance to do double damage on each attack. Adrenaline allows you to stock more adrenaline and inflicts two fatalities in a row. Ooh. Okay, so you get to do two fatalities before you go out of adrenaline mode when you hit. Neat. Magic skills. Ooh, there's more here. Oh, I kind of like the shape of it. it. Makes it look like runes. Dark vision, which we have. And on the left, we've got flame arrow. Cast and hold to guide the projectile. Ooh. Oh, and if you cast a spell during Adrenaline mode, then it has different effects. Cast multiple projectiles at the same time. That's cool. Fire Trap. Right. An invisible explosive mine. Freeze. Non-lethal. Creates a slippery pool of ice if it hits the ground. If you do it during Adrenaline, permanently freezes the creature. Oh. Fireball, of course. An explosion. Cast and hold to guide it. Adrenaline effect kills target opponent. Whoa. Just an instant kill. Okay. Lightning bolt. Bounces off walls. Cast on enemy standing in water to enhance damage. Oh, good. Chain lightning during adrenaline. Jumps from main target to nearby enemies. Cool. And inferno. Throw flames in front of you and set enemies on fire. Adrenaline effect increases damage. So that's the dot. Then we've got telekinesis. More mana you have, the heavier the object you can lift. Adrenaline lets you grab living creatures and massive objects. Heal. Oh, well, we definitely need that. No adre adrenaline effect for heal, I see. Charm. Charm a hostile creature for a limited time. Sanctuary is a magic shield, protects you from physical attacks and magic projectiles. Weaken an enemy. Adrenaline effect permanently shrink your enemy. Ooh, like the shrinking ray spell from uh, Might Magic 6 and 7. Good old dark magic. And then we have here, okay, increased stamina, poison resistance, increases maximum health, three levels of that, allows your health to regenerate. Ooh, we definitely want that for sure. Alertness automatically detects secret objects that you are uh, when you are standing still. Increase your mana, allows mo or increases mana regeneration rate. Okay, so that already regenerates, but our health does not. Burglar, allows you to lockpick doors and detect traps. And stealth, decreases the sound of your footsteps when walking, allows you to use your daggers to backstab an enemy for extra damage. Rank 3, allows you to hide in shadows and become almost invisible. You can also pickpocket your enemies, steal keys carried by enemies who have not spotted you yet. Interesting. Yes, all magic is dork magic at a certain level. Okay, so our mana already regenerates. Hmm. These spells are pretty good, but also just the basic ability of, like, increased damage. So we got one skill point. I don't know how often we're going to get skill points, but I see some of these things, like, this costs 12. This costs 12. This costs 4, 7, and 10. This costs 6. So I think the skill points are going to be fairly plentiful. What shall we do? Telekinesis leads to heal, but stamina leads to endurance, which leads to vitality, which I want. On the other hand, right now all we have is a sword. So it might be smart to either take melee combat, archery, with that lets us zoom in, or maybe flame arrow. 
Let's go... Let's go with archery. Now have the eagle eye skill. Press R while using a bow to zoom in. Okay. Aha. Alright, cool. And we've got 38 arrows, so I can see when it's equipped. Neat. Alright. Uh, yes. There should be. If you go to uh, my Tumblr, Chundo, it is the pinned post. Uh, it is also the pinned post on Patreon, and uh, I have made it public so you can see it even if you are not a patron. And uh, it should be scheduled here on Twitch as well. So if you look at the channel schedule for upcoming streams, you will see everything that we are doing. We're doing one every Friday until we run out of material. Okay. Ooh. Health potions. Okay, there's the stacking effect. Times two, so it is very visible. Alright, looks like we need to climb. Back to the action. Can we clip? Yeah, okay, not a problem. What now, Master Fenric? We're done for now. Let us hope that you will be as efficient in future tasks. <laughs> this is only the first step on a long road. Efficient after I stood down there looking at my skill screen for like 15 minutes. Enter the crystal chamber. Oh boy. Let's do it. Ooh, that certainly looks like treasure. Oh. You'll have a use for it a half a world away. For today was just the beginning, my boy. Let us return home, and I'll show you the next step in your education. Why was there a pause before education? I don't like that. Sus. Okay, so we got the crystal successfully back to the headquarters, I guess. Okay, cutscene. Sarath, my faithful disciple, your father would be proud to see you this day. Initiated into the arts of magic, a fierce and noble warrior, you have all that you need to achieve your destiny. But you won't achieve it here. Your future is out there, in a distant land. I'm sending you to the free city of Stonehelm to meet a wizard named Menelag. He and I have certain mutual interests. Right now, he's looking for an artifact called the Skull of Shadows. Unfortunately, he's unable to progress any further in his search. At least not without this, the Shantary Crystal that we retrieved. It was worth our pain to retrieve it, don't you think? Take it to Menelag and help him get the skull. Once you do, I think you'll know what's expected of you next. However, my dear boy, I am not sending you alone. You'll need a guide, a companion, perhaps even a guardian. She may even teach you a few other things. Hello? What is your bidding, my master? One can travel lighter than two, Sarah. Am I to protect this boy? Um? Fear not. This won't hurt a bit. Uh, people only say that when it's gonna hurt. By the way, my name is... Zana. Zana? The Gates of Stonehelm. Okay. The Skull of Shadows. Is, oh. The free city of Stonehelm. Crossroads of money and magic. Deliver the crystal to Manalag and we can be on our way. I hope so. It's been pretty dull. We should go back to the city. Where it's safe. The farther we get, the better. It's our home. It'll be our 200 on drive faster. There's an army of necromancers coming. Necromancers? 
Fenric didn't say anything about them. Master Fenric rarely tells everything he knows. Hurry, we'll be safe inside. Oh, there we go. I was like, we're leaning way over off of this horse. Oh, wow. Cool, though. Okay, but why is this guy looking for the Skull of Shadows, though? Like, I'm sorry, because I've played Heroes of Five, like, I know what that is, so. Hmm. You there, stay your business. I'm the envoy from Master Fenrir, with a message for the wizard Menelag. That's Lord Menelag. Got any proof? That's We're a little it. wary of strangers these days. I have a letter of introduction. Let me see it then. Hmm. By special request of Lord Menelag. And there's a seat. Let me welcome you to Stonehell. We'll stable your horse for you if it pleases you. Of course. Can you tell me where to find Menelag? Certainly, sir. You go uphill past the Golden Ribbon and Sweet Dragon's Blood. What's that? I don't know. What is that? Oh! Whoa! Oh, that was a catapult hitting the... Ooh. Oh, find a way to get over the rampart. Oh, oh, hello. Yeah. Okay, good. Ooh. This way. So this must be what it's like to be inside one of the towns in Heroes of Might and Magic when uh, an enemy army comes up with the catapult. Whoa! And starts destroying everything. Hmm. Okay. Oh, intense. I'm not mad about this, uh, this start. Oh. No, I... I don't... Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, okay, I don't have to actually jump to grab ladders. Only chains. Ghouls. Oh! Making enemies of the Stonehelm garbs will make the main objective impossible. Don't do it. I mean, I don't intend to. There we go. That dark vision spells. Ooh. By all means, let him go first. Oh. Right, this way. Okay. Oh, now we're gonna shoot the ballista. Well, hello. Flaming shot. Oh, wow, they've got uh, expert ballistics <laughs> and destruction magic. I'm such a nerd. Sorry. Oh, okay. I'll just take that. Uh, just focus on the right, right, right. Shoot the Cyclops to stun it. Okay. Come on, Sarah. Keep up your fire. Now or never, Sarah. You have to kill it. There we go. Did I get it? Yes. You did it. I'd hug you if I could. So she's like riding us, like like she, like we're possessed by Zana or something. She's in our heads. Ooh. It's already undead. Look at that. But so this is an undead Cyclops. 
That's nasty. Cyclops are already like part demon. Oh, three skill points. And we got a note. Oh, so we can take our time. Okay. A guard's note signed Garth. I was thinking about Leanna again, like always, I guess, but she's so pretty and so nice. And her uncle says she'll be a great wizard, like he is. I think I'm going to ask her to marry me. Not today, though, but maybe this war will give me a chance to be a hero and prove myself to her. Ooh, I hope Garth made it. Let's see, we've got three skill points. This would be one, that would be four, so we can unlock multiple skills now. Let's say telekinesis is always useful. Let's take that. And then... Oh, we still have three more, so we can unlock heal as well. Okay, well then let's definitely do that. Uh, let's see... Sword... Let's do this, I think. Yeah, that way it's on the end, so it's real close together. Restores two health when eaten. Okay, well, that certainly is a beginning. Nice work there, friend. You've got some real potential. Okay, let's try this heal spell out. That did almost nothing for half our mana. Whoa. Whoa. Heal your wounds and regenerate your health. Oh, so to just to give you like temporarily increased regeneration? Hmm. Yes, nice work, protagonist. Hello? You handle yourself pretty well in a fight. Care to join us for a pint at the Golden Ribbit? Wow. The voice acting in this game is not great, but the actual, like, the sound itself, technically, is pretty solid. Bestiary of Ashan. Ooh. Press and hold E while aiming at the wheel to open the portcullis grid. A uh, recent study of Ashan fauna gave us an interesting account of the creature's weaknesses. For instance, while most of the basic creatures like spiders are very vulnerable to fire, will avoid it, creatures with a demonic taint like the orcs or the goblins are naturally more resistant to fire. They are, however, as vulnerable to lightning as anyone else. Undead are a different matter. Having no concept of fear or injury, they are difficult to defeat. However, a fortunate adventurer may find blessed weapons crafted from the very substance of dragons that do great damage to these creatures. Okay. Anything else? You don't have a dragon symbol on you. Oh, you do, though. Hey. Food ration, okay. Yes, good. Oh, yeah, because it took my stuff. I don't have my bow. Oh, we put up one in archery, too. They took my bow. Took my sword. Took my healing potions. Dang. Oh my god, that's a stock sound effect. Like, like not just any stock, like that specifically is a sound effect that they have used in other Might and Magic games. And I know this because I have been casually playing Might and Magic 6 again recently and I just heard that sound. Ooh, making... Right, okay, don't do that. This we know. Oh, I didn't realize I was in control there for a second. I thought that it was opening up onto a cutscene. Anything over here? No. What if I jumped out this window, though? I think I could. Is there anything down there? Is exploration rewarded in this game? Wooden staff? Oh, there's a bow. Hey. Do we have any arrows, though? Let's see. Let's rearrange here. I'm assuming the staff is magical. Bow damage plus two. Sword plus two. Staff plus one. Slow weapons don't inflict much damage, but are perfect for fighting against a pack of enemies. So they can easily stun or knock down those they hit. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we only like combo attacks with the staff. Okay, that's that's cool. For now, I should probably be careful what I'm doing. Oh, another short sword. Ooh, a guard's shield. Hey. Oh, what? I can't equip it. Okay, so it is literally that. Where'd it go? Was it this? Yeah, so you have to have level 2 in melee combat before you can equip a shield at all. Oh. That's... Odd. Got a chest. What's in here? Daggers. Okay, so they are introducing us to all the weapons. Anything? Yes, food ration. You can pick up this stool for some reason. And this fork. Hello. I want to... Ha! Yes. That's a weird... That's exactly wrong. That is precisely how you don't hold a fork. Hilarious. hi -ya! I feel like the Blue Raja. Okay, Way of the Warrior, Way of the Mage, Way of the Thief. That makes sense, because that's kind of... Sort of, but not quite how these skill trees feel. This is definitely magic. This is warrior. Uh, but most of the thief skills are here because here's burglar, stealth, and alertness. And then magic regeneration, stamina, poison resistance. So this is all... There are some support skills here and here, but otherwise this feels very thiefy. Hmm. Okay, let's try... How do the daggers feel? I do love dual wielding. Ooh. Okay, so less damage than the swords, presumably, yeah. But offer increased speed and versatility. They are the only weapons that can be used to backstab an opponent. Additionally, they can be thrown at enemies. You must perform a power strike when the enemy is fleeing or when your adrenaline is full. Hmm. Do I still have two daggers after I throw one, though? Ghouls don't swim well. Maybe Lord what we do with the bodies? If the necromancers get their hands on them, we might have to open up the necropolis. Oh, that's a good question. Something you have to think about in a war like this. If you're fighting necromancers. What do you do with all the bodies? Well, that's why you burn them. Time to step there. They tried launching skeletons over the wall. What happened to him? Splintered on impact, mostly. It's a right mess. Wow. Oh, Aaron tier. Oh, okay. So we've got the the skull of shadows, which has to do with Sarissus, and now they're mentioning Aaron tier. I know these names. What's down here? Hello. Oh, is this the tavern? more than just ale here. Hey there, a little ale with you. Okay, let's see. That means plot. So let's explore literally everywhere else first. What's over here? Aha! Exploration is rewarded. Give me the pie. Yes, delicious pie. Love it. Can I climb in any of these windows? No. What's over here? Can I open this door? No. Leave her be, Sarah. She's not important. Some things will never be clean now. Never ever be clean. Well, there's a lot going on here. Like, there's a lot to find and a lot of, like, people and, and voice lines happening. That's pretty cool. Oh, an oil jar. Wait, does that... Okay, it doesn't look like it spreads the fire or anything. That's a shame. I 
I love how it warns you. You know what they say about the size of a man's front gate? That big one must be Menelag's. Okay. I was about to say... It's funny how they point out, like... Making enemies of the guards will make the main objective impossible. Like... Alright. Then turn off friendly fire. Yeah, that was... That was a bit much. I mean, you gotta you gotta put your jokes where you can stick them in, I guess. Cool. I like how much of the city you can explore. Okay, and now we're back here. All right, so I've come full circle. That's everything then. Ooh. Is that something? Ooh. Yeah, that looks like I can interact with it. How do I get up there, though? Oh, 100%. That is something like that I can pick up or take. It looks like a staff or a sword, maybe? Ugh. Yeah. Is this like a jumping puzzle? If I go over here, can I shimmy this way? Can I get through here? No. Can I get over there? Ugh. Apparently not. Okay. Hmm. Can I get up on the roof and fall down? See, this is how I play these games. I'm already skyrimming so hard. It's like we found the uh, the main objective, but what's way more interesting is all of this other stuff I can do. Hmm. Okay, this is a dead end. Dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end. All right, well. I can always come back later. Maybe. Ooh, I don't know if you can return to previous levels, actually. Hello? Can I get through there? Oh, oh, I found it. I found it. You can do a thing. Aha. You are meant to be able to get over there. Oh, well, look at me. Look at us. Can I take- oh! Oh! Hmm. You know what they say about the size of a man's front gate? Oh, thank goodness. That big one must be Manalags. It saved right here. Oh, good. So I didn't actually lose any progress. I should, probably should save it. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, you first, sir. After you. The animations are not too bad on this. Okay, so over here for sure. Now. It looks like you don't have to fall very far to just straight up die. Oh! Oh, we can open these windows, you say. Hello. Okay. Congratulations, you found a secret area. Hell yeah, I did. Hell yeah. Okay, so exploration is very rewarded. Full health potion. Nice. That, ooh, hmm. That's a texture that's not loading, I think. Yes, come on. Climb up. Why aren't you climbing up? Okay. 
Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Yes. I can't take the ladder, but I can take this. Can I... I think that's the other house where I'm supposed to jump over and get the thing. Maybe? No, maybe not. This is glass, but I don't know what's supposed to be behind it. Can I not pick up the ladder itself? I don't think so. Nope, doesn't look like it. Drat. Ah, I was so thrilled. And all that was up here was a health potion. Surely there's more to it than that, right? Surely. He just won't, he won't climb. He won't get up on this ledge. Uh, it's like he's trying and can't. Oh, oh, ooh. Ooh, okay. I Okay, so we can get through. There's just no benefit to it. All right. Ahem. <clears throat> hmm. Because if we jumped over there, it wouldn't do anything. an invisible wall. Aha! I have been here. I have been here as well. This we know. Okay. I'm trying to find the location of that. Those don't look like they open, so I couldn't jump across. Wait, I've got telekinesis. Could I grab it? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe I'm using it wrong. I'm not sure how to use telekinesis. Makes your hands all glowy and cool, though. You! Bird. Let me telekinese you. Okay. Okay, and it lasts until you move a single item. Okay. Well, sadly, it doesn't look like I'm getting over there. I don't know what I'm missing out on, but it will haunt me. But let's go on. I've spent too much time on this anyway. Excuse me. Oh, you must be the envoy. Here's our guest. Bye, go. Uh, uh, okay. I am here to see the wizard Lord Menelag, on behalf of Master Fenric. You must be Sarath. I was getting worried about you, though maybe for no reason. Uncle said you helped kill a Cyclops. No, oh, sorry. I'm Liana, Menelag's niece and pupil. Niece? Pupil? Mm. Uncle will be so pleased to see you. But you'll want to wash up before dinner. Please, follow me. With pleasure. I mean, yes. Excellent. <laughs> wow. Guard, please open the portcullis. Yes. Lady. Okay, so. A feast prepared in your honor, you know. So that's Liana. And Garth did make it. Welcome to the house of Menelag. 
Oh boy. So you're Sarath. Good to see you, lad. With those necromancers at the walls, watch it with that. I was getting worried. I trust you brought the Shantiri crystal. Of course you have. Good. I'll take that, my lad, for safekeeping. Tomorrow we sail with it. Careful with that soup there. To the Temple Isle, resting place of the Skull of Shadows. Let Arantir throw his army against the walls. We'll be off sealing his doom. Don't dismiss Arantir too lightly. There are rumors that he might be the Dark Messiah. Your oh, stuff and nonsense, girl. All three of us know better than that. But the time is right for the prophecy. I'll worry about dusty old prophecies. You worry about the expedition. You're in charge of it, after all. Of course, Uncle. Good night. And to you too, Sarah. Please don't tell me you find that sort of thing cute. Listen well, boy. I know why you're really here, but Liana doesn't, and we'll keep it that way. Fenric's business doesn't touch her. Understood? What are you talking about? Hmm. Perhaps you don't know. And that's probably for the best. Hmm. The servants will show you to the guest house. Get some sleep, hero. We sail with the morning tide. What we don't know can hurt us, though. Chapter 2. Okay, so the chapters are fairly Fairly short. The manor is under attack. There are necromancers everywhere. Prepare yourself. I'm going to see if the master is all right. Hide yourself. Hide? Not likely. (gasps) Oh. Show some. Oh. Did I? Did I kill that guy? I think I might have. Okay, so comboing and following up here is, like, very important in this game. Oh, I've tried to finish him off. Okay, a corpse. Beast Cherry of Ashan, we already had that. Monopotion, daggers, we've got... Ooh, we can open the cabinets. Hello, food rations. I am so sorry. Believe me when I say I was not aiming for you. I... I... Uh... Ugh. There. Rest, uh... Rest, rest well, friend. Rip, uh... Anything in here? No. Okay, we need to spend our skill points. We've got two of them. So it seems like, uh, probably... Either Flame Arrow... Hmm. Maybe Stamina? Alertness wouldn't be bad. Pick up a couple of different skills because we have two points. Yeah, <laughs> I thought he was a Gorka. Um, okay, here's strength, so we have to do this to get to that, but the first rank costs six points anyway. Okay, well, we can do whatever we want. We got our weapons back, like, right as I was complaining about losing them. So, let's see, I'm going to take alertness and melee combat. Okay, you're now able to perform a charge. The attack will stun your enemy. Perform a power stri- uh, strike while you're sprinting. How do you do flurry of blows? Full health potion, mono potion. Okay, well we can't use this yet, so let's put the uh, mono potion there. And we know how the sword does, so let's... There we go. We've got another Beast Jerry of Ashan. It's this one. Nope. Or is it... Oh, it's two copies of the same book. I guess so that in case you missed it the first time. Alright, fair enough. We've got ten food rations. We've got an extra potion. Let's 
let's try the staff. Anything? No? Okay. Oh boy. Oh, actually, maybe this is the time for the bow. We've got a little bit of a bob to it. Do headshots count as one hit kills? Oh, so it would seem. Man, we despawned him completely out of existence. Jeez. Don't forget you can break supports to unleash heavy objects. Oh, right there, I see. Are you... They, they, those are black guards, right? Like, those are bad guys, not stone helm guards. Did his buddy notice? Oh my god, his buddy did not notice. Oh, okay, this is going to be one of those games. I thought because we could pick up corpses and hide and move them is going to be a lot more like Thief. Oh, bruh. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to grab and throw objects at your enemies. I, I think we got this. Okay, which way do we need to go? I don't see any additional... Oh! Hello? You can kick your enemies into fires. Ooh, okay. Useful to know. Oh, I see. Okay, we could have hit them with that. Alright. Fair enough, I guess. Oh. Bro. A good game. Oh, come on! Yep, come, come right at me, bro. <laughs> I'll just stand right here and take care of their whole army, I guess. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, let me. Whoo! Oh, we can open the outhouse door. I can't wait to see what treasures are in here. Okay, it looks like we can't go this way. Can we climb the ivy? Doesn't seem like it. All right. Oh man, it is still flipping shit over there. Look at that. Love it. Oh, that's just a dude. Can we open these doors? No surprise there. Stonehelm does have a thieves guild. Hmm. Too early in the game to be able to unlock it, so presumably if there's not a key, then we're not meant to be there. gauge you're seeing in the middle of your screen indicates how well you're hidden. The fuller it is, the harder you are to see. Oh! Okay, so the more white there is, the better. Don't move, buddy. You're a dead man. Ooh. Got him. Okay. I guess there's no reason not to use this since our MP is going to refill.
Okay, so I did. I misjudged that uh, that gauge. Yeah, so like this makes us very like way less visible. Okay, now can I hit you from here? Because if so, no one's gonna notice. Is the thing about that? Do these arrows arc, or is it a straight trajectory? So far, it seems like it just goes wherever I put the the crosshairs. So, come on, raise your head back up. Come on. Come on, I can wait all night. Oh. Okay, didn't take him in one hit. Got him. Oh man, that flurry of blows. Okay, so it's literally just basically as fast as you can click the button. Okay. Well, no harm done there. Right, we know all about this. Help. Hello. Yes, I would like to pick up. There we go. What was that sound? Did we find something cool? Didn't level up. I don't know. Hmm. Ooh, okay, so we can, like, sneak through this hedge maze. That's why that guy was standing over there. That makes it look like we are entirely visible. Which I guess is the case? Yeah, okay. Okay, well, nobody noticed us killing that dude, so... I have to admit, I'm kind of liking the daggers. Although, I, we should try the staff. Is there anyone over this way? Straight creeping. Let's see if we can snipe this guy. Is he on a patrol path? Is he gonna walk back? This that other dude just running back and forth in the background, I love it. Oh. Don't try to run. Fucked it up. Show some skill before I kill you. There we go. Now he's a corpse. It's so fine. Da, 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 da. He really is just like running back and forth. That is so funny. Why is he doing that? Man. You won't make it. Die. Ooh. I need to parry more. Yeah, it's definitely all about the like the kick combo. Are you dead or not? There we go. Goodness gracious. There's just a bow lying there. 
Okay, we got adrenaline. How long does that last, I wonder? Anything over here? Does not look like it. Okay, and it does also look like uh, adrenaline slowly drains, perhaps? Or at the very least, it drains a little bit when you, like, hang on to it for too long. Okay, no, it is slowly draining. I see. the back door. Oh! Hello. Tried to open it while standing on top of it. Genius. Objective done. Inside at last. Good job. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, we got another skill point. Find Menelag, probably in his bedroom. First, though, let's see. Additional stamina is going to lead to health regeneration. I do want that, but also Flame Arrow. Hmm. I think Flame Arrow. Yeah, that makes sense to me. There's a shiny. Yeah, this is the right room. Okay, that is a dead spider. Thank goodness. Potatoes, anyone? Now it's mashed potatoes. <laughs> Anything behind here, maybe? This is so much easier. Y'all were right about the kicking. Oh. No. No, you heard nothing at all. Don't worry about it. Da -da -de -da -da. to ham. Oh, now we're... It's mysterious wall chicken time. An antidote. Oh, okay. Oh, I better put that on the bar. That could be critical. Oh, bro. Ah! Just keep kicking. Just keep kicking. go. Okay, so you have to target, like, right at them in order to get the, uh, the kill. Oh. Don't try to run. Ah, oh, don't have enough mana. No! Chaos! Got him. Got the instant kill. Cool. Okay, so stamina is important because kicking enemies apparently takes stamina. Loud. Okay, I'm getting a little better at this, though. Where we want to go? Probably this way. Oh, you can't hide from me. Health potion. Oil jar. Okay. Not useful. This big Shayok out of robbing wagon caravans. You said it. I've had worse bosses than Aratir. He 
still gives me the shakes. You've met him? Yes, and I wish I hadn't. What's he like? Like a nightmare made of ice. That's what he's like. Hmm. Can I hit them with this? Huh? Oh my god, I did. Didn't kill him, though. So you can combo with the spells and stuff, too. Interesting. Okay, okay. I gotta get the hang of it, but I see what people are kind of talking about. Oh, that was an item. Okay, good. Glad I looked up there. I see how the combat could be pretty exciting. He's got, like, magic crystal lamps. Makes sense. He's a powerful sorcerer. Where the hell am I going? Oh, there are spikes here. Why are there spikes here, Menelag? Let's see. Uh, here we go. Let's save it. A corpse. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Yeah, see? So you got nothing to worry about. Don't. Don't even fret, friend. Ahem. <laughs> Second time's the charm. Some cooked ribs. Mmm. We love some good ribs. Anything in here? A fish. A fish. A leek. So all food items are healing items, I'm guessing. Okay, looks like we can go that way. Can we go here? Yes. Can't go there. Bunch of bananas, baked bread, mana potion. Oh, wow, I shot him all the way into a corner. Oh, that's, hmm, awkward. Sorry, bro. Okay, let's try this way first. Oh, no, 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 no. first charge and I missed it. Oh no. Hiya. Got him. I tried to save you. I'm so sorry. I apologize. It's back here. Ooh, a whole pie. Can't more carry more than 20 items of this kind. I know I don't have 20 pies. Oh, I see. It's just food. Okay, so all food just stacks. 
Well, there. Better than leaving it behind. Anything else in here? Just linens. I'm so sorry. I'm doing my best. Oh. Aw. Oh. Really? That little fire. Whoa. There he goes. Hmm. Okay, let's go back this way. Does this go into that same room? Oh, okay, I see. So we have to go. We have to go this way. See if I can get this guy. Oh, Lord. Okay, well. Oh. Oh, right. Uh, you first. Don't forget cutting ropes. Oh, okay. Oop. Okay, now we've got group combat. Let's get rid of one of them here. Ah! Very floaty. Got one. Right, you. I just suck. There. We'll never know. Oop. Oh. Oh, the butt stab. Oh. Sorry. Sorry about that. I'll save that for later. We, we might need that. More servants. Oh, chest. Anything cool? Ooh, hey. Oh. This guard's shield. Okay. Don't need more than one of those, as far as I'm aware. Well, apparently, Sareth can get it. You know. I don't know. I haven't seen what he looks like, but... Okay, this where we came from? Yes. Correct. What's in here? Aha! Wizard robe. Ah, oh, see, I knew that these little like glowy things were items. Uh, I'll never know what that other one was. Got a mana potion though, at least. Book of ghouls. Book of sorceress mastery. Anything else? I think I get it. I think that's what the alertness or awareness ability does. That's what those little flickers are, is the skill drawing attention to those. That's why when I walk it seems to flash or flicker, because it's supposed to only work when you're standing still. Interesting. I'm surprised there's not anything back there. 
another wooden staff. Makes sense. Okay, let's see here now. Requires magic affinity one. Uh, is that this? Okay. All right, so we can only use some equipment if we have certain skills. We knew that for the shield, but apparently that includes things like armor as well. Book of Ghouls. It is well known that ghouls are the ravenous spirits of the dead returned to reanimate lifeless corpses and imbue them with an insatiable hunger for flesh. Some say that only those who died of starvation can become ghouls, while others, most notably Balthazar, in his seminal treatise on the nature of the unquiet dead, postulate that any who died of privation or want can become ghouls. Darker whispers state that necromancers can create ghouls by forcing unwilling spirits into dead bodies. Regardless of origin, ghouls are widespread wherever the necromancers have extended their tendrils. Indeed, disturbance of cemeteries by ghouls is one of the first signs that a necromancer cabal is near. Stronger than men and more agile as well, ghouls are nevertheless ruled by this ancient hunger for dead and rotting flesh. However, when they cannot find proper sustenance to feed their immortal hunger, they are more than content to manufacture their own foodstuffs from the living. Growth. Know ye that if ye wish to obtain the key to mastering thine own skill of sorcery, thou must tread many dark paths and study that which is eldritch and hidden. In the red litten depths of the sorceress mind lies the true essence of wizardry, of the power beyond this world that the dragons have granted unto us. Yet, they say there is a power beyond power, an ancient source to all the greater magics in the world who slumbers and sleeps, awaiting the day of awakening. Meditate well on this, and ye shall find thy sorceress power increasing. Hmm. Skeptical. Almost missed that. Hello. Okay, now is this the door that was locked? Yes, it was. Okay, so that's why we had to go all the way around. So that means we need to go through this one. No. Okay. That is the dumbest place for that rope to be. Well, if that's... Is there a switch on the throne? Like... No, but there are daggers. Whoop! Hello? Ooh! Whoa! I'm sorry, why did striking the throne cut that rope? She's off. On an adventure of her own. Okay, uh... So these are locked. Are we going here then, perhaps? Also locked. What about there? Are you locked? No! How close can I get to this guy before he sees me? Place your bets. Don't move, oh, buddy. about Don't that close, move. apparently. You can't block because you have a bow. Haha. <laughs> no one saw or suspected a thing. Weird, he was up there the whole time and never shot at me. I'm sure he could see me, especially when I cut the rope on the chandelier. Which... Oh, that's the other room. Oh, that's why. This is the dining room. <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh, I smashed the door. Oh, wait, can we do that? Can I just, like... Okay. <gasps> no one can see me. Hey, pal. 
Oops. Sure. I have not hit anyone with that yet. That charge attack. Gotcha. Okay, what we got here? Anything interesting? Maybe? Is there anything behind these shelves? Or are these just for sneaking? Nothing interesting there. All these books. Useless! Useless to me. Okay, well... There's a lever anyway. I don't... Oh! Hello. Anything else of interest? Okay, that is literally the same door. Okay, so we can walk up here. But it looks like it dead ends. Okay, quiver. Oh, an old key. Discarded orders. Discarded orders. Okay. Nondescript key for one of the doors in Menelik's mansion. Jenna, please sweep and clean the tower. There are cobwebs and dust everywhere. I've left you the key and expect it to be done by tomorrow. Right. So maybe the key goes there because there's no door here, so... Oops. Hello. This might be a good place to actually use the dark vision spell. What was that? Oh, is there someone below me? Oh, is this a different room? It looks like that's the same library. There you are. Oh, I see. Okay, I just miscalculated where I was. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's what that grinding noise was. Cool. Okay. We love a secret door. Anything down here? That's the library. Okay, and there's the stairs were. Alright. Okay, I see. It's a shortcut. This must be the tower. Oop, yep, we got a loading screen. We're going somewhere else. Where are we going? Oh, thank you for opening. That's a chilly breeze. Don't try to run. Then maybe we should cross the roof instead of just standing here. Haha. -ha. Farewell. Don't forget you can kick enemies off high ledges. Yes. Indeed. Haha. -ha can go in here because, ah, that's what the key was for. What secrets lie hidden up this staircase? This is a nice, quiet place. Oh, too bad we have other things to do. Uh, I'm sorry, is the... Is the strange woman in my head propositioning me? This must be what we're here for. Ooh, full health potion, scroll of weakening, a scroll of charm. Okay, so do scrolls do the same thing that I expect? Cast charm when used, cast weaken when used. Okay. 
All right, that's pretty good because weakens like a high level spell, so that might be really useful in a boss fight. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, is there anything uh, out here? Doesn't look like there's any benefit to going out the window, so we'll just go back down. Just so you know, dear, Menelag is expendable. The crystal isn't. What do you mean? The crystal was for Menelag. Menelag is convenient, that's all. What matters is getting the crystal to that temple, and you with it. Hmm. Okay, well, that is down there where we were way back at the beginning. That thing is still swinging, and that's after, like, loading screens and transitional zones. Looks like maybe that's where we need to be. Let me in. Did I hear something? You pay when I can stop right there. Haha! Oh. Oops. Oh, one of them made it. Not for long. That was handy. Don't move, buddy. Don't think so. Goodbye. Okay. Uh Let's go back up here where I fell from and see if I missed anything. Aha! I did. Health potion, good. Speaking of which... Anything here? No, it doesn't look like it. That's the window we came in. We can climb up that chain. Is there a benefit to doing so? Oh, there's just some random spikes leaned against the wall. Like a like an extra bed frame. Buck wild. Okay, what's what's up here? Aha. Oop. It's a mana potion, but now it's on the floor. We'll have to go get it. That's fine. I think we can do that. Alright. This way. No, this way. Another door. Once again, our paths divide. Anything? A bedroom, but doesn't seem like there's anything. Oh! Haha! <laughs> yes, good. Don't have 20 of those yet, so I'm gonna keep picking up every one that I can find. Anything here? No rupees. What a shame. Ooh, we can actually take weapons and stuff off the walls, too. That's cool. Guards! Bye. Oh, can't carry more than 20 items. Right. Got all the food I can take. Hmm. Rip in pieces. Okay, that's locked. All right. Well, that's what I figured when I saw this.
Uh, oh, this way. Oh, nice. Oh. Uncle. No. No. The ghoul got him, but he got that other dude though. I have a healing spell. Oh, I'm frozen though. Triumphant leveling up fanfare as he dies. I'll be okay, Sarath. But the, the crystal! Oh no! Sarath, you must follow that ghoul! We can meet later at the boat. Many are the years that will pass before the shadow on the face of the sun does foretell doom. For then will the cage of light be made as weak as one of iron, and the taint of ages past to drift on the winds of the world. Then shall one king's bride bear another's child, and the dead themselves make war on the living and infernal alike. Seek not the skull of the seventh dragon, for it is wrapped in shadows and hidden away from the eyes of man, lest it be used for great evil. For what it hath wrought, it can unmake in the hands of one whose blood flows from two worlds. Here's that guy's corpse. Uh, okay. Even if it's not visible. Oop. Okay, I guess. Let's go after it. Let, let's go. Let's go after it. There we go. The girl doesn't matter. The ghoul has the crystal. I mean, we're already yeah, we're chasing the ghoul. Oops. Oh my gosh, the the climbing in this is like not Chapter 3, Dead Man's Trail. Oh, okay. So it got away over the wall? It's gone. Not if you follow it across the rooftops. Quickly. Oh. This is a dead end. Try the other way. Ah. Don't stop. It'll get away. Well, if I could literally move it all. Ooh. I can't go anywhere. Hmm. If that thing escapes, we're all doomed. I l Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay. It's hmm. gone. Not if you follow it across the rooftops. Quickly. Uh, okay, well that's where I came from, so. Ah, okay. In here. There it is. I see it. It won't get away. Jump across. You can do it. Oh, 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 okay. I see it. It won't get away. Jump across, you can do it. Eyes of the dragon. Perhaps that foul thing took the high road. There's no Yes. Okay, come on. Those shingles Am I not supposed to grab there? Okay. Okay, it's like he it's like he's trying to grab it and it's not making it or something. I know you have to look up when you climb. Yeah, he's like he's falling off of it. Is it because do I need to hold it? There we go. Okay. Okay. I think that's part of it. You have to hold plus and I was just hitting it to jump and grab and that's not how it works. So you have to hold it. Can't hesitate now. 
Oh man, come on. Oh, dang it. Come on, come on. There's no other way. Jump. Actually, there is one other way. Ha ha. There we go. Oh my gosh, where am I supposed to go from here? Oh. Oh no, oh. <laughs> that one was totally me. I just jumped to the right for some reason. Okay, we're doing a lot better now. This should be an auto save as well. Now I'm kind of wishing that I had taken that stamina upgrade. Objective done, infiltrate the warehouse. Uh... Okay, we got four skill points because we didn't get to spend those other ones. I'm definitely... Oh, man. Okay, we're going to take that. And we're going to take this for sure. That leaves us one left over. Okay, now. One armor class, ten mana. Cool. Okay. Oh, cool. It actually changes this on... Neat. That was exhausting. That was, like, not fun. But I think it was me at the end there. Uh, I was not holding space down to climb. I did not realize I needed to do that. I was jumping and expecting it to, like, hang on and climb and then not, uh, not holding it down. So, maybe that was my fault. Here, I don't know where I'm going anymore. Oh, here, I guess. Objective done. Find a way to get inside the Necromancer's outpost. Oh, okay. Now we've got two points. Hey. Could level up stealth. Fire trap. Hmm, could take two points, or rank two in melee combat. Disarm an enemy and shield. Hmm. You're sure it's locked. The ghouls will have our tribes for dessert if it isn't. Hey, it's your. Let's do this. Word. Press Alt to use your skill and move silently. Careful as walking on some sound-sensitive surfaces like metal may still create some noises. Okay. What was that? Got him. Oh. Hey, pal. Hi. Good to meet you. Show some Ooh. skill before I kill you. Oh, okay, we got a choke point. Just get that guy. Haha. -ha. Can I kick them into each other? Oh, there's a bunch of them. There 
Here we go. Trap door key. Oh, wrong button. Haha. -ha. Oh, and also you're here. Oh. Your health is low. Don't forget to heal. I, I imagine, yes. Oop. There's another one. Come on. Don't you kick me. That's my thing. Got him. Phew. Okay. Well, that was a whole thing. And now we can go through this trap door, wherever it goes. Don't know what else might be here, though. Have to look for loot. Anything good? Any of these dragon marked crates? Hmm, I see chains we could climb. Oh, here's a dragon crate. Ooh, a stone skin potion. Okay. There we go, back to full health. Definitely glad I got that spell. Well, this has been an interesting experience. I'm kind of iffy on these types of games. Some of them resonate with me and some of them don't. As I said before, as a big Might and Magic fan, uh, I'm not really sure why I waited so long to play this one. I like the world that it's set in, so... Hmm. And I kind of like the way that they've executed it. It definitely is a darker, edgier version of Might and Magic, but... That's not necessarily You're a bad a thing. Oh, I didn't even have my daggers out. Oh, thank you, bed frame full of spikes leaned against the wall. Hmm. But yeah, so th this has been fun. I think I could do more of this, for sure. So if you had a good time, uh, let me know in the comments. Tell me if you would like to see more Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Uh, I said back at the beginning of the stream, it took an enormous amount of effort to get this game to run uh, in any kind of playable fashion uh, or at all. So I will put links in the description to where you can get the game for yourself. But, uh, you know, buyer beware. If you can get it to run, then more power to you. It seems like it could be a lot of fun, especially since there are multiple ways to play. I've already noticed with the level design, uh, there are certainly places where I could have snuck more and done more like stealth kills and stuff, uh, but also it gave me the option to just kind of brute force it, which is mostly what I've been doing. Um, if you wanted to go full magic, spend all of your points on spells, you could do that as well, and I'm sure that would be pretty effective because uh, the Firebolt spell by itself has been pretty good. The heal spell has been a great standby. So, yeah, if you can give it a try, I would say definitely do. But once again, thank you to Thousand Emu, uh, not only for choosing Dark Messiah of Might and Magic and for being one of our Patreon patrons, but also for the donation that they made to the Video Game History Foundation and their important work in exchange for this incentive video. We did Wild Arms 3 last Friday. Uh, next Friday, we will be doing Deus Ex. So look forward to that. We've got more Special Friday content coming up until we get through all of these incentive videos, including some full series towards the end, like Zombie Dinos from Planet Zeltoid, which I hope that you will enjoy. So look forward to that. I will be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which is New York and Miami time here in the U.S., with Lands of Lore, the Throne of Chaos. We'll join Kieran and the fellas as we continue to track down Scotia and try to save King Richard. 
Then on Monday, Specific Pixel will rejoin me for our current husband play, which is Blaze and Blade Eternal Quest. Got more of that coming up. And next Thursday, I will be continuing the series that we just started yesterday. Uh, which is Sierra's Outpost from 1994. Should be a blast. Uh, we we had a good time with it, I think, yesterday. And I was very happy. That's another game that it took a lot of effort to get it to run properly. Uh, but, but we got there. And uh, I've been having a good time with it so far. Hopefully you will as well. It's probably going to be a fairly short series. Um, and I want to show off the fan-made HD remake as well, while I've kind of got it up on the table. And then of course the following Monday, that's going to be July the 24th, I will be flipping back over to my solo series, which is Divine Divinity. So hopefully I will see you for some or all of those if I am lucky. Thanks very much for the privilege of your time. You could have done anything, but you spent the last couple of hours with Sarath and I here in Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. <laughs> Don't forget to follow on Twitch if you aren't already. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free. You can always change your mind. Throw that Amazon Prime free monthly sub at us here on Twitch. And, you know, leave comments, like the video. Let me know about your experience with Dark Messiah if you have played it. And consider joining our wonderful Patreon community, which is always growing. We've got some wonderful folks over there and some nifty benefits as well, such as getting your game request suggestions and recommendations bumped to the top of the queue, so that that way you can see series like this one, dedicated just to you. I'll catch y'all in the next one, and until then, as always, thanks for playing. <laughs>